I'm Jeff Cole, board chair of United Way of the Coastal Empire. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 34th United Way Hands on Savannah Volunteer Recognition and Awards Luncheon. If everyone could please come to order. Today we celebrate more than three decades of recognizing outstanding volunteers in our community and the organizations they serve. This year also marks the 75th anniversary of United Way of the Coastal Empire, making this event even more special and memorable. Today's luncheon is made possible by the generosity of several businesses, organizations, and individuals. Special thanks to Gulfstream Aerospace, Kreitz, New Star Asphalt Refining, Jackson Printing, and Coal Management Company. These businesses believe in the power of volunteerism and the importance of celebrating the outstanding volunteers we're honoring today. We appreciate Savannah Station and K&H Productions for their help in creating this event. Thanks to photographer Bunny Ware for helping us capture memories of today's event. And of course, we're always grateful to Creative Catering for providing another delicious lunch. We'd also like to extend our thanks to the panel of judges who had the difficult task of reviewing this year's amazing nominees and to Rabbi Robert Haas with Congregation Mikvi Israel, the girlfriends, Jamie, Sandy, and Susan, Aidan Hornaday, who will be speaking to us this afternoon, the Dresser Palmer House for graciously accommodating Aidan and his supporters for this trip, and special thanks to the United Way staff for their support, as always, in making this event possible. We're especially appreciative to those who took the time to nominate an outstanding volunteer and we are grateful most of all to those volunteers who are the reason for today's program. The theme of our celebration this year is Volunteers Are Forever. Much like diamonds, volunteers are precious and rare and always shine brightly. United Way believes that volunteers embody the spirit of who we are as a community, united in a goal to bring about positive change where there is a need to create a better life for all. The impact of the services they provide often becomes ingrained in the lives of those they touch. And today, we honor their legacy of service and acknowledge that their value to our community is indeed forever. At this time, I'd like to invite Rabbi Robert Haas from Congregation Mikvi Israel to deliver our invocation and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and remain standing during the Pledge of Allegiance and the national anthem read by the girlfriends, performed by the girlfriends. First of all, I want to thank everyone for coming here today. I want to thank MIDI and this organization for all it does for our community. And as I stand here, I want to talk a little bit about the irony of me standing here. The irony of inviting a rabbi to give the invocation at a lunch honoring volunteers. Why is that an irony? Because in biblical Hebrew, there is no word for volunteer. <laughs> Not there. We have one in modern Hebrew, but that's because we have to because of America. Why is there no word for volunteer in Hebrew? Because of the word mitzvah. How many of you ever heard of the word mitzvah? Mitzvah, many people believe, means good deed. But in actuality, in Hebrew, mitzvah means commandments. Why is that important for us today? Because as people of faith, we believe that God has commanded us to help those in need. In other words, we are not actually volunteers. We are doing what we are supposed to do. As I explained to my bar mitzvah students, we are commanded to do good deeds. It is up to us to decide exactly which ones to do. So I want to thank everyone here again for all of their dedication and their support. Dear God, we thank you for the many gifts you have given us, for the ability to make friends, for the ability to take care of our families, for intelligence, and for so many other wonderful things. But today, here, we especially thank you for the ability and the inclination to help those in need. You have given us so many things, and we understand that it is our obligation to go and give back to those who cannot help themselves. May we always have the strength to give back and to follow your commandments which tell us to go out and take care of society. Amen, and thank you again. I invite everyone now to face the flag as we say Pledge Allegiance. I 
pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To, to celebrate all of the wonderful giving people that make this such a great community to live in. And of course, you know, we, we thought about doing a song about volunteers are forever, kind of like the diamonds are forever, but it really didn't have a good ring to it. So then we just decided we'd focus on the fact that we love volunteers. I mean, we all love volunteers. Why do you love volunteers? I love volunteers for all the wonderful things they do for our schools. She's a vice principal, so of course she'd say that. <laughs> Why do you love volunteers? because of all the wonderful things and caring things they do for our homeless and helpless animals. And she has a house full. <laughs> Ma'am, if you don't mind, what do you, what do you love about volunteers? I hate to put you on the spot. Oh, I know, thank you. Um, I love, absolutely love Girl Scout volunteers. They are the best. She's like a lifetime Girl Scout, so she's a little prejudiced. Ma'am, if you don't mind, could you tell me why you love volunteers? A lot of people sit around and they say, somebody ought to do something about that. Volunteers do it. They don't even ask. <laughs> That's a wonderful reason. There's a million reasons. And so we decided that we'd just sing a song about why we love volunteers. Does somebody have a note? We no, need a note. I don't have a note. Does anybody have a note? Do you have a note? Ma'am, could you, have you bring, a note. bring us a note? Yeah. No, wrong note again. <laughs> That's that it. one sounds perfect. Oh, okay. <clears throat> A little ladylike song for you. Den 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 da den den da den da 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 den den da den 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 da 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 and don't, don't know, know why, why we love them, them. is it because they care when you need them volunteers are there i wonder why we love why? volunteers like we do da -da 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 -da. is it because why? they never make us da -da 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 -da. they're always there to why? help folks like me and you me and you they put their hands out why? and help when you are Good faithful friends Why? who never wear a frown. Da, 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 Their time and talent Why? make ours a better town. Better town. So we are gathered to honor you too for helping others in so many ways. And that is why we love volunteers like we do, like 
like we do. Wop, wop, we love volunteers, yes we do. 